Like name Jake here. I'm gonna do an update because I haven't done one in a while, and I'm just gonna do hockey jerseys. So I don't remember where I left off last time, but I'm gonna uh, just show all of them, I guess. So this is Fatisov to Reebok Edge One. That's to start out. Slava Kozlov. Again, it's a Reebok Edge One. All, all authentic. No fakes here. I bought them as blanks, and I have um, my friend customize them. And he's professional, so he does the arc and everything right. It's all legitimate. Stitching and everything. And one of the first I got customized is Fedorov 91. Again, since all the Russian 5 ones match, it's a Reebok Edge 1. Customized, except this one I opted for the Konstantinov patch in 98. So I put it on the shoulder just so I could put the cut patch on the front, which I haven't gotten around to yet because I was deciding whether to put a different one on each Wings jersey or not. Um, yep. This is Igor Larianov, Reebok Edge 1, authentic, customized, same guy. This is one of my more favorite ones, actually. I don't know why, I just like the how he did the name better, if that makes sense. I don't know. It just looks awesome. Even though they're, they're all the same, it's just he got the arc on point completely on this one. Uh, 5-1, Konstantinov, um, Reebok Edge 1, authentic, customized, um, if you want compliments, wear Konstantinov everywhere you go, because I go to a local rink to skate, and I got, like, tons of compliments because of this jersey, so, the jerseys that I bought, the Coho, Lindros, uh, somebody had it customized at some point, Got it for like 35 bucks. Um, pretty good steal. I like the Coho's. It was that transition phase. So it's got the, the thicker um, air net. But it doesn't have that weird Reebok uh, fabric. Because I think this is 2000, 2001. Um, and Reebok got changed over in like 2006 or something. I think it kept switching like every year to different things. Like I think it was... It was CCM, the Nike, or Bauer or something, that is Nike technically. But um, then Coho for a little bit. I think Coho had a Ways, and CCM had Homes or something. It was Lights and Darks, it, yeah. But um, early 2000s, Lindros, somebody had a customize at some point. I don't know really what's with the huge A on the front. But, um... Somebody messed up that. It's not completely bad, but it's just bigger than it's supposed to be. Yeah, Brick got it after he got traded, so it was cheaper. Um, not much to say. I kind of, it's thicker than a lot of the, the premieres. I don't know why. And it's got, like, a double stitch on the arm compared to, like, the other jerseys where it's just one piece. But, I don't know. It's, it's a lot thicker than other premieres. I don't know why. It's all, it's only, um, I don't buy fake ones, so it's, it's authentic, but it's a fan jersey. It's got, it's still got the crappy Reebok plastic, and I prefer, like, the stitching that was done on the Lindros, even if it's not, like, perfect. But, yeah, that's one of the, um, not first jerseys that I bought, but it's one of the older ones that I've had. I don't know, the name looks weird there, but, jersey. I got it right after he got injured, which he's his career's ended now, so they were marking it down. I got it for like 30 bucks. Not bad, it's still that Reebok plasticky feel. I kind of want to, um, even though he wasn't captain for that long, have it customized, just have a C put on the front. Or actually wear, but needed it just to complete, or to help my collection along of getting all the teams. Uh, Simon Dupre, I got it after he got traded to Anaheim. Um, I'm kind of glad that I could get a Penns jersey that wasn't Crosby, because I don't like Crosby, especially being a Red Wings fan. Um, not much special about it. It's, it's th again, a thicker jersey compared to the other ones. I don't know why, like, half of them are thick and half of them kind of feel lighter. It must have just been, like, the production cycle and the materials that they used or something. But... I didn't even take the tags off of this one yet. No. Yep. I had to get a pen's jersey. <laughs>
LA Kings jersey, 88. Uh, it's actually an, an 88. Like, it's from them. Got it for, like, 20 bucks on eBay. Um, I thought it was a good steal. The lo I didn't know how different the, um, the logo patches and stuff were back then. But it's, they're a lot smaller. Um, even though this is a size smaller than I usually get. But it's still nice. I was thinking about getting either Robitaille or Gretzky on it. I'm not sure yet. It's not really high on my list of getting customized, so we'll see. It'll eventually get done. But circle jersey replica. Uh, some shop customized it um, that I bought it from. It's nice. Um, all stitched. It's just a customized fan jersey. It's not a K1 or anything, but it's still nice to wear around. I usually uh, just wear it when I watch the Olympics and stuff, so, yep, gotta have that country pride, so, um, again, it's just a Reebok Premier fan jersey, I'll get it customized with, uh, the authentic lettering though, not the crappy Reebok stuff, the, that they just, um, heat press on, now I'm gonna get the sewn stuff, um, probably Alfredson, just because one of the most famous sons, and he was a Red Wing at one point, so, yeah. This jersey, it is Timu Salani. Um, I got it when they switched to, like, an orange piping on the letters. They were selling stock on NHL.com, so I just um, had it customized as Salani. Because I think this is the last jersey he actually wore there. If not, it was the year before the last year, so... I uh, had them put the A on it and everything. It's actually a nicer um, than I expected. It's not the crappy screen print. It's actually sewn, but it's still heat pressed. Like you can tell like, where it was customized because it's still got the iron um, square thing. But yeah, Timo Solani. I try to go for um, franchise players, even though he was on Jets and stuff. But I, you know, players that were famous on that team, I mean, authentic jersey, it is an Indo Edge though, which is just a replica of um, the On Ice Edge 2.0s that Reebok makes, uh, it's a blank at the moment, um, probably either Brodeur or Scott Stevens, I'm not sure yet, but it's again, it's not high on my list, so... I'll get around to it eventually, but I got other stuff like couch to pay for right now. So, it's nice and everything. The fabric's a lot different than the Edge ones. So, if you've never seen um, the difference, there is a big difference between, um, like, Fan Airnet and then Pro Stock and the Indo Edges and the uh, Edge 1s and the Edge 2s. It's, yeah, what well, an Edge 2 is thinking of Pro Stock, but, um, yeah. In Capitals away jersey, Mike Green got this one really cheap for like ten dollars, and this was before he got traded too. So I think he was injured or something at the time. But also, him being a Red Wing now, I got it signed at Hockey Fest last year or this last summer. So signed Mike Green Capitals jersey, Fans Edge. Uh, I might get it framed. I'm not sure yet. Dallas Stars, the new Victory Green um, rebranding jersey. It's the it's in the first year because it's uh, Sean Horkoff, which I got it cheaper because he moved on to Anaheim. And I was thinking about getting it changed to Patrick Sharp, just because it's ten and it would wouldn't take a lot of work to have it changed over. But again, not high on the list. And Horkoff is still a good player, even. Eh. Went from uh, Edmonton to um, Dallas to uh, Anaheim now. But I don't think he's doing much in Anaheim this year compared to uh, when he was with Dallas. But I I really like the, the new rebranding of the jersey and stuff. It's kind of like a green version of the Blackhawks jersey, which even though I'm a huge Red Wings fan, Blackhawk, the, the original six jerseys in general are just classic in my mind. Like, you, the new jerseys don't have um, the same kind of impression that it leaves on you. 
Carolina Hurricanes 13 fans jersey. I think this is the year before they switched over. They started liquidating these, so I got it cheaper. It's again, it's I kind of like the the flag more on the bottom, the squares than what they changed to. The they kind of changed to like a generic one now. I don't think a lot of people actually like it, but uh, yeah, Carolina Hurricanes Whitney. Um, it's an Indo Edge 2. Um, just like the Brood, or not Brood, just like the um, New Jersey Devils jersey. Everything's sewn nice. It's a little lower. The Indo Edges get a lot of flat because they're lower um, quality because they're not made in Canada compared to um, the Edge 2s, but it's still nice. I didn't pay at, like the $300 that these things are worth. I get these on deals and stuff, and that's why I buy them. This was only like 60 bucks, so um, I'm like an Amazon deal or something. But I don't, I'm not sure who I want to get on it yet. Um, maybe Tarasenko. I don't know if I really want to go vintage because I'm kind of want to get a 90s one and have Brett Hall put on it. But um, yeah, probably Tarasenko. It, which is the vintage style jersey, but it's a Reebok cut. So um, I had it customized as Tim Horton number seven. Um, did a really good job. I had it, the vintage lettering, um, to spec. So we looked up old pictures and had it done. Then I just had, I like it with the names. Like, I could have done it just a seven, like they had back then when Tim Horton actually played. Um, but I just, we had a, the general, um, block letters put on. It's all sewn, all authentic and everything. Um, and then the A was hand cut, so it took a little bit more time, but everything's nice, vintage, I like the original 6 look as I've stated before. Um, Patrick Sharp, 10, um, jersey, I got it right after they won the cup, um, well a little bit into summer after Sharp got traded to Dallas, so it was cheaper. Um, the thing I don't like about the Reeboks, as I stated in the video before, is that they go like cheap with the stuff like they put the lettering and all that that's um just screen printed and then they um like iron it on and then just do like loose stitching and they didn't even have the alternate captain logo on um for sharp so i had to have uh dan put one on which it may it just totally makes the front of the jersey so it looks better than without it trust me it just looks different without it. Um, it's double layer. It's the black and then the white on top. Double stitch sewn. For alternate jerseys of all time, uh, when Buffalo did the the throwback to a, uh, or not the throwback, but just just did like the baseball lettering and then um, the throwback to seventy. Um, it's Thomas Vanek or Tomas Vanek. Um, Forgive me on the pronunciation of some names, but um, I had to get it because it changed to that weird two-tone mustard ugly color that they kept for like a year or two that nobody liked. Like why they got rid of this jersey, I don't know. I think the fans really love this one. Um, I don't know. It just looks amazing. I I would like it better if it actually wasn't screen printed and was sewn. But again, Vanek. Uh, he got traded to Montreal, and now he plays for Minnesota, so, yeah, one of, one of my jerseys that I like more than the other ones, uh, even by, like, an alternate standpoint, so. These that I bought, um, got it for 30 bucks on a deal, um, not a lot of people like the player because of his reputation, but it's Danny Heatley, um, San Jose Sharks jersey. I don't know, it just got a special place for me because it was one of the first ones that I bought. So, he at least career is like over now. I don't even know if he plays in North America anymore. Last time I knew he played for the AHL and San Antonio. And I think he got traded to Florida and they haven't done anything with him. Um, or, yeah. Oh, San Antonio was Florida's affiliate and now they changed to something else. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, Danny Heatley 15, San Jose Sharks. Vander Kane jersey. You can kind of guess why this one was so cheap, again around 30 bucks. Um, nobody in Winnipeg likes a Vander Kane anymore, 
but it's still it's a really well built jersey it's double stitched and everything really thick nice um, there's a nameplate I could have it changed and kind of do like a modern retro with a uh, hole but I don't know I kind of I wear this one a lot actually it's just comfortable because um, it's thicker material especially when I'm out skating and stuff at the rink um, yeah so Evander Kane went to pick Jets first year 1996 inaugural season jersey it's got the rare inaugural patch on it and everything um, it's a Bauer authentic so everything's legitimate I got it off the guy that actually does the stitching for the the team um, he, he's the original owner he's had it for 20 years so and I got original uh, Griffin on it Darcy Simon Hoping to someday uh, meet him and maybe he could sign it at some point, but um, but he's in like British Columbia right now or something. But it's when they're IHL. Um, I kind of safeguard this one more than others, just because you can't find them, um, especially with the patches. The patches are rarer than the actual jersey is. But um, yeah, everything's legitimate because it's the guy that actually sews the Griffin stuff. So. Um, I think if anybody knows how to get it right, it'd be him. Um, he had to switch the nameplate off, though, because he had his last name on it, and I just wanted the original player, and that's why that the plate looks newer than the jersey is. But uh, I get the stuff done right, so authentic as possible. CCM throwback. Um, it's blank at the moment, and since I already have two Rangers jerseys, I don't really know what to do with it. It was just really cheap. Again, like, I think it was 25 bucks. Um, all authentic. Good at finding deals. Um, I'm not sure who to get put on it, if anybody at all. Um, I was thinking Brian Leach, just because I play defense, and I like to collect defensemen, as you can tell with, uh, like Tim Horton. I have a Bobby Orr that's currently getting customized. Sorry that I don't have it for the video yet, guys, but, um, that'll be in a future update video. So, yeah, I do have a Bobby Orr, and then Martin... Martin, God, I can't talk. Martin St. Louis, um, Jersey. I wanted to, to get one, a Tampa Bay, because he retired. So both of those will be in a future update um, video. Um, I also got a um, Griffin's jersey, another one, um, a Friday night with the uh, the patch. I don't think I have a hat with me right now, but I got my favorite logo. It's this one, but it's the just the red and the, the white. It's got the shield patch on it. It was it used to be used for Friday nights. Um, they changed their logos last season to the the new the black, uh, red, and white um, jerseys. So I just wanted to throw back. I got it signed and everything by Xavier Roulette. It's number 16. Should be really cool. It'll be in a future update video. Uh, Onto the Red Wings jerseys. 1992 Hartford Whalers Bauer jersey. Um, I had the, I've actually had the hat a lot longer than I've had the, the Whalers jersey. Um, it's a blank for the moment. Um, I think I'm going to get Ray Ferraro on it. Uh, I know he didn't play when the style of jersey was out, but um, it was either that or Ron Francis, and I didn't. I kind of associate Ron Francis more with Carolina than I do Hartford, even though he was captain. So, um, yeah. My, for now, it's my blank Hartford Whalers, um, 1992 Bauer fan jersey. So, my Brendan Shanahan 14 starter jersey. Um, got this one a while ago. It's got... Uh, I think this is factory customized because it does have the, um, the Players Association on it, and it's got the, the A on the front. Um, yeah, the Wings logo is a little bit different on starter jerseys. It's got, like, an outline on it, but, yeah. This is, I actually like this jersey a lot. I don't know why. I think it was one of, because it was one of the, uh, first, I guess, technically it wasn't home. Because they swapped colors, um, 
some somewhere in the early 2000s. Um, technically, it's, this was an away jersey, but uh, a lot of my jerseys are the the whites, and this is one of my first actual red jerseys, so it's got a special place for me. But yeah, Brendan Shanahan starter jersey, Doug Brown Nike jersey. My this is the second of my two Nike jerseys. Um, pretty much got it because it's an uncommon jersey. You don't see a lot of people walking around with Doug Brown. But, um, yeah, I think somebody had this customized a while back. Um, lettering is a little bit different compared to what Wings jerseys usually are. It's a little bit smaller, but all in all, it's a nice jersey. So I kind of like it because it matches with the McCarty. Um, this would technically be the home then, and then that would be the away. But just style-wise, I got the home and away um, Nike. So, yep, Doug Brown, 17. Um, Nike jersey. I think this is anywhere from 96 to 98. So, again, older than... Well, if it's 98, it's not older than me. But, um... Around the same age as me. There's a Kirk Maltby... CCM jersey. Um, this is factory customized because it's got the nameplate. Even though they they were a lot better with the nameplates back then because they actually um and this is twill. They did the arc actually because a lot of the um the people just get the straight across bars which isn't correct. But um yeah, Kirk Maltby 18. Oh, it's also got the Players Association um tag in here somewhere, yeah, CCM, this, it fits really well, so, it's baggier, because it doesn't have the edge cut, like, today's jerseys, but, um, yeah, Kirk Maltby, CCM, Red Wings jersey, it is a Nike Darren McCarty jersey, um, another one that's older than me, actually, I think it's 97 or 98, and the cool part about this is that I got it to go along with some of the stuff I got signed by Darren. This is my favorite thing. Didn't ask him to write that, but um, a picture of him and Claude Lemieux. And Sweet Revenge, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that's my Darren McCarty Nike jersey. Next up is my Timu Polkinen Reebok Edge 1. Um, authentic jersey. Fight strap. This one was customized also. It was really easy to get the Reebok Edge 1s compared to the, the 2s. So a lot of my um, customized ones are Reebok Edge 1s. Um, I got Polkanen mainly because, well, this was when he was down in uh, Grand Rapids. I'm at, like, I think it was 54 goals total during the season. So, um, big fan. Uh, my favorite player, actually. Um, kind of watched him the whole time. Like, his whole Red Wings career, so that's why he's my favorite player. Um, I'll eventually get it signed. I've already met him before, but I only got a puck signed. That was before the jersey was done. So yeah, that's my Timu Polkanen. Um, this is my game jersey, by the way. The one I wear to all the games and stuff. But yeah, this is my Timu Polkanen uh, authentic customized jersey. It's blank, signed by a bunch of prospects. I'll zoom in there a little bit for you guys. Um, I kind of just got this one just because it's like a blank canvas for all the prospects. Anytime I can get extra signatures and stuff. Uh, I got people like, there's Polkanen. Uh, Tom McCollum, um, let's see if I can recognize any of these, there was Landon Ferraro, um, Aubrey, I think that's Nozick right there, uh, oh, there's Jeff Hogan, the captain of the Griffins, Sproul, uh, Xavier Roulette, yeah, just, it's pretty much just to get prospects to sign before they become, uh, Red Wings. Um, I just thought it was nice to show you guys that because it's technically one of the jerseys that I have. But yeah, it's just a Reebok uh, Premier 
um, home jersey. This jersey is a Grand Rapids Griffins customized alternate jersey, or what used to be the alternate jersey, the shield patch. Um, I got this one as a blank Tron um, Detroit alternate. And they were selling off the shield crest, which I'll show you in a second. And I thought that I, because these are harder to get than the uh, regular Grand Rapids Griffins um, jerseys, they didn't sell them as much. But I really like the style, so I um, went and made my own. And I got Xavier Witt. Uh, he's a defenseman for Grand Rapids, future Red Wing. And then I got him to sign it on the top, because that it was before I... Uh, Got the lettering done and stuff, but it's all professionally done. Um, front, uh, official patch and everything. Um, I really like this the alternate design. I have it on a bunch of hats and stuff. But, um, yeah, I had them sew it on and everything. My Mighty Ducks of Anaheim jersey. Um, it's a blank CCM. I'm not sure who I'm going to get on it yet, but I have two players in mind. Um, but yeah, I really like the retro, this is totally 90s jersey, or at least, well, I mean, full 90s, but in early 2000s. Um, this is a Florida Panthers CCM vintage. Um, just got this one really recently. I got it on a really good eBay deal. Um, this one's actually really nice, it's the thicker version of the CCM, so it was a higher quality fan jersey. And like the other ones, this one, I don't know why somebody wrote on the tag, but yeah, really nice. It's got the retro um, look from the first year, I think. It's, it's one of the first year ones, within the first couple years at least, because it's the original design. Jersey is a Montreal Canadiens fan jersey. Uh, this is a weirder stretch fabric compared to all the other ones which are more air knit. Um, I was actually kind of surprised that it's a full sewn patch instead of the newer ones where there's uh, just jersey in between them. But yeah, it's a blank. Lots of great Canadians that I could put on it.